Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Kimi AI. Okay, this is a Chinese AI that has the capability to behave like a multimodal model. It means it can be able to do many things at a time. You can analyze content. It can do web searches. It can even do thinking. It has the capability to think when you're asking a question. It can think and then give you a result. It can code can do quite a lot of things when you prompt it the right way so to start with let us start by learning how to access it and to access it all you need is to come to kimi.moonshot.cn because it's a chinese ai tool so once you come in here or you can go to anywhere within your browser and you can just go ahead and search for kimi ai kimi ai just like so and we brought in over here an ai assistant that can perform deductive reasoning okay you can see it's a new quality productivity tool for students and professionals it helps you interpret academic papers write codes debug and plan strategies and so much more so once you click you will be welcome to this very platform this is its main flux and as you can see it's similar to what we used to see in chat gpt and similar chatbots like uh, perplexity ai and the likes we can have the chat area this is the chat area we have the search this has the opportunity to collect data for information from the internet if you want it or if you don't want it can use locally available content without relating it to the internet and it has the thinking capability and over here you have the option to upload different kind of files from pdf to docs to xls to ppt txt images and so on and it can give you complete analysis of those files and over here you have common phrase maybe in the course of your actions you do have common phrases that you do search around you can add it as part of your common phrase so whenever you want to start typing something you can always refer to your common phrase and it is going to give you those exact wordings and then you can start working over here you can start a new chat and then this is where you see your chat history once you log in this is collapsible as you really can collapse it and then bring it back so let's start by clicking anywhere let's click but you start by accessing and to access you have to put in your number so you just, just search for your country and then you can paste in your number and then they will send you a code and once you enter that code you will be able to use it so let me just search in and then i will see you at the other side all right so i've just logged in so let's start with simple questions you can ask it simple questions for example why don't penguins feet freeze because they are always on water or well, let's go with this simple one you can start a fire with ice you can see with just this simple trick of testing its capability to write you can see starting a fire with an ice may sound impossible but it's actually a real survival technique and these are the steps get clear eyes shape the eyes into a lens and then these are the whole thing focus the sunlight on it and then this is the process okay of setting the science behind it it explains everything and then while it is putting in the content you will be able to see all the web searches that it has done web search there are 12 sources you can see all of them over here that it has consulted while writing this so it is really really important because it shows you the exact sources where it put in the ideas from okay and then over here you can be able to see all the sources this search for science behind eyes fire these are the searches and you can be able to see them over here and when you click on anyone it is directly going to open that particular source for you okay so you can see how it is being done this is turns out you can start a fire with ice okay very easily so this is the first part learning to use it directly and then you can ask it trending questions like you can ask it trending questions like what is the weather of zaria today okay so let's see whether it is going to get this whether it's up to date we can enable the search as well and then you'll be able to see so it is now searching the web and you'll be able to see some web searches it has found up to 30 different sources and you can see it is giving us the weather. Today's weather in Zaria is expected to be partly cloudy with a high of around 38 degrees and a low of around 22 degrees. There's a possibility of showers later in the day. So you can see this is really, really correct. And when you click on this, you'll be able to see all the sources that it has consulted. And the weather forecast, yes, we've gotten it right because today is 14th May 2025. And that's the idea. Okay, so let's do some image analysis with this. Let's disable the search. 
and then let's upload an image and let's ask it to help us to analyze so let's say this image so this is a thumbnail so what can you say about this image So what can you see about this image? Let's hit on enter and let's see how it is going to be able to analyze this for us. So you can see it has correctly picked in that the image appears to be a thumbnail graphics for content related to top five uses of spaces. And the design includes futuristic looking robot on the right side, suggesting that the content might be about advanced technology or space exploration. It has really taken it very, very nice and it has given us what you need. You can see it has given us exactly what we need as regards this. How does the robot in the image represent? How does the color scheme contribute to the image theme? How could the education? And these are suggested things that you can use this with. And you can see you can copy this, you can try or share this if you're interested okay so let's do a more technical one let's do some reasoning question let's say i have this reasoning problem let's say based on your experience what do you think is the answer here okay so let's see whether it is going to so with this reasoning this image what do you see from the top is exactly what is being asked here so let's see whether it is going to reasoning the image represents a three-dimensional puzzle where there's need to identify which of the four two-dimensional shapes can fold into the given three-dimensional and the answer is b and that's exactly correct so it has done the analysis and so on and if you wanted to show you the thinking the thinking process how it is being done you can enable the thinking and then you will now be able to see exactly what it is doing so you can retry this enabling the thinking and then we will be able to now see the process okay so searching and reasoning so okay let's see the question is about determining which of the 2d shapes is the correct top view of the 3d red block structure sean so this is a thinking process before it arrives or it gets to the answer and you have the option to skip the thinking if you don't want it to be thinking but look at the process it is taking the steps it is taking the details it is bringing before actually analyzing and coming up with the results that it has given so and you can see the series of things it has analyzed Let's say continue so let it continue because we want to see the answer at the end of it okay we are much interested in the answer that's what matters okay so it is showing the thinking and all the processes involved and you can see after the series of thinking and everything it says the answer is the option d represent a straight line of cubes with a cube attached to the top of the third cube and um, you say the option is d so you can see if you want to go through the reasoning the reasoning on its own is quite huge and is very very lengthy but then that is the answer i got okay so let's try another one a more simpler one let's select uh, let's see if we can be able to analyze some uh, research paper because yes, i have this research paper and i can ask it can you summarize this and mention the main points okay can you summarize this and mention the main points all right so let's hit on enter and then let's see based on the paper that i've just added it is going to look into it summarize it and then probably this is going to start showcasing the thinking but we can always skip that again like i said so let's keep the thinking and let's go straight to the point Okay, certainly here's a summary of the key points on this paper, flood risk management in Nigeria, and it is really getting it right. This is very, very correct. All right, so this is it. And these are other suggestions in cases if you're interested whether the specific challenges are Nigeria faces in flood risk management and so on. So depending, if you want to enable the web search or you can enable the thinking anyone you like you can enable it and if you wanted to do the research locally based on the materials that you've uploaded it can do that as well so in that case you have to of the thinking and then probably import uh, upload maybe two papers and uh, we can uh, upload these two papers and then you can ask it to do something to analyze and probably give something but then before we ask the question, let me show you how to use this common phrase. You can always click it and you can add your common phrase if you're interested. 
So you can come over here and say add a common phrase, summarize. So assuming any paper that I upload, I'm going to use this phrase, summarize and give me the key takeaways from this paper. So as I click on new, it is going to add this. And once we close on this, now it has added it to the list of common phrases that I use. I'll be able to now click on it directly. So once I click, you can see summarize and give me the key takeaways from, so I can say these articles example so once i hit on enter it's going to be based on these two articles that it's going to just summarize and give me uh, the results so that's how to actually use this common phrase um, icon it's very useful you can add in different kind of phrases that you can be using continuously so this is basically how to use it you can analyze different kind of trends ask challenging questions technical questions and it's going to respond to you directly so let's ask it one last question statistics on the latest trends in ai within africa okay so what is this list statistics so let's see what it is going to give us even though this is as of my last update, I don't have real-time data access. Okay, okay. So this is the general form. But then what happens when we enable the search? So that means it can utilize the web search. Let's retry this, enabling the search. And let's see, uh, now it is searching for latest trends in AI in Africa. Yeah, so it is going to do that. You can see right now it has already identified about 26 web searches. And then based on that, it is going to bring in the latest based on the latest trend in ai in africa here are some key statistics that you need to find out understand ai application growth economic impact AI in agriculture ai in education in ai spending legal tech ai strategies and so on so it has now browsed the internet or like before that we disabled the searches it did not connect to the internet and it uses based on its own knowledge you can see all the sources that it has consulted these are links these are pdf documents and so on once you click on any of the source it is going to show you exactly where it picked it even though this is a bit chinese but you can click and see more of the sources even the pdf document that it has consulted these are the ones that it has consulted so this basically concludes this simple tutorial on how to use kimi ai to kind of generate the text understand and technically analyze details of articles and even draw conclusions out of them so please go ahead and explore it on your own and see how you can use it to your own advantage and create things for yourself we can even use it to create code for example let's say Okay, can you write a Python code to create a quadratic equation? So let's hit on enter and let's see whether it is going to come back with that code. So you can see it is giving you the formula first, then the Python code. You can see very fast it is giving you the code. And once you copy this, you paste in there and then specify the variables. It is going to help you to solve any quadratic equation. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the like button if you find this helpful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you and goodbye.